Buster Scout, are you practicing your Halloween scares? Hmm? Uh huh. We're gonna break the Wheelieville Super Scare Record and scare everyone in town. Starting with you, Monty. <laughs> Didn't you know I'm unscarable? Nothing frightens me. Ah! <gasps> huh? Okay, apart from rabbits. Ugh! Oh, they give me the creepy cheapies. Rabbits, huh? Come on, Buster. We've got some scaring to do. Next stop, Super Scare Record. Let's go! Careful not to scare anyone too much. You don't want to upset them. Nobody is scared of me. Boom! Ah! <laughs> Got your ash. It's Buster! to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck. Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. 
<laughs> it's so nice to make new friends. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting Ooh. volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight, along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh wow, he's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster, five. Oh dear, down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops, he knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no, he moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no, he's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... There, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. The end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. 
The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look! There's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay. They'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look, he's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it.
Aw, now they've made up. Oh. Friends okay. always forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. Next. Yay! The soccer ball! Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait! Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh no! Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look! It's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last! Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in, but he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Oh. <laughs> Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before! <laughs> At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did! Buster looks so excited! I wonder why! A storybook! Buster wants Mommy to read to him! Buster loves a good fairy tale. <laughs> Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. 
but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster is starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> Oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray, it worked. Oh dear, what a mess. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh look. Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear, Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed. Great work, Buster. Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. 
Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> But then, I came face to face with a dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second, that's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear, Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. <gasps> All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> This summer, I was at the beach, but Ooh. then I saw... Ooh. No. Yes! Oh. Pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks! Yarm, <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Ah. The pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth hmm. out with a little help from... <laughs> a friendly little bee! <laughs> We took out the sawtooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores. Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops. I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster, and Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh look, it's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball! <laughs> he does need the Christmas Eve! Buster is so excited he can barely stay still! He can't wait for Christmas Day! 
Daddy has a Christmas cracker for Buster. Who's going to win? Pull, Buster! Whoa! Well done, Daddy! But now it's time for bed, or else Santa won't come. Look! Buster's dreaming about the presents! He hopes his present will be the biggest present ever! It's Christmas Day, and Buster and Daddy are going to Mommy's house! Buster can't wait! Buster's so excited to see the presents, he's rushing! Buster is wondering where is his present? This one is for Mommy. Daddy's present. One for Grandpa. Is the small one for him? Buster is a bit disappointed. Oops! The labels have come off! Oh no! Buster doesn't know whose present is whose! Buster hopes the labels are on the right presents. It's time to open the presents. Mommy, Grandpa, and Daddy roll up to find Buster sneaking a look at the presents. Grandpa has some weights. That doesn't seem right. Mommy has some glasses, but Mommy can't see with them. And Daddy has a stethoscope. That doesn't seem right either. Oh no, the presents got mixed up. Nobody has the right presents. Hmm, maybe Buster can work out which present belongs to who. The weights must be for Daddy. He's really strong. And the stethoscope is for Mommy, because she's a vet. And the glasses are for Grandpa. Good job, Buster. It's just Buster's small present left. What is inside? Oh, a camera! Buster loves it! He's going to take a selfie with his family. Merry Christmas, Buster! Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this night light will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space! <laughs> Check it out! There's Earth! They're going to race to it! Ready, steady, go! Buster is in the lead! Oh no! Bandit knocked him off course! Aw, oh, now Buster's far behind! How can he zoom back ahead? Aha! Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout! Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? <gasps> Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout! 
Hmm, they have to stop him. <laughs> They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit. That'll teach him. And the race is back on. Buster and Scout are neck and neck. Nearly there. Space Rocket Buster wins the race! Way to go! Uh-oh. Busted. Again. Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun. But now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is reading a book about wildlife. There are so many amazing animals. Bah! What was that? Buster's taking photos with his new camera. <laughs> what a silly picture, Daddy. <gasps> it's given Daddy an idea. Daddy Bus and Buster are on a wildlife scavenger hunt to find this red and blue butterfly. Wow! Buster is determined to find it. <gasps> there it is! Buster, behind you! Oh no, they didn't see it! Maybe the butterfly is hiding in that long grass? <laughs> Let's check it out! Oh look, Buster has spotted something! <laughs> Snap! Wait a second. It wasn't the red butterfly. It was Ash the fire truck with his mommy. Buster takes a photo for them. What a nice thing to do, Buster. Buster, look up! Quick! There's the butterfly! Oh no! He missed it again! <laughs> Aha! Buster knows where they should look next. Maybe the butterfly will be by the lake. Hmm. <gasps> there it is! There's the butterfly! Steady, Buster. Don't scare it away. Oh no! Don't worry, Buster. You just have to be patient. What's that? It's red and blue. Oh no, not again. It was just teacher's red bow tie. It's a great photo though, Buster. Mm. Poor Buster. He's upset he hasn't found the butterfly yet. It's okay, Buster. You just need to be patient. <gasps> there it is. Buster, look up! Buster, look up! <laughs> That's it. Take a deep breath and be patient. He's getting some amazing photos of all the wildlife. <gasps> There's the butterfly! Quick! Go, Buster! <laughs> he finally managed to get the photo, and it was definitely worth the wait. It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it! Hop over the rope! Phew! That was tiring! What a great day! And now it's time to go home! But, uh-oh, that's an awful lot of mess they've left behind. Buster doesn't want to clean up, but look! Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them, this is almost like a game! Next, the cone. Look! Scout's catching them on her bonnet! Now Buster's collapsing the goal. Nice work! 
Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done. That wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box, and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no, it's fallen over and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work. What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right. They can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There! Well done, everyone! Look, it's Buster the Bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Woohoo! I love the mountains! <laughs> Snow is the best! These bumpy bumps are the funnest fun! <gasps> Whoa! That jump looks awesome! awesome. Let's do it! Come on, Ash. 
You're a super fire truck. You can do anything. Come on, Bumper Bunch. Let's move. I don't feel so good. Me neither. I want to go home. <laughs> oh no! The crash zapped our power. We need to get to Jada's garage. We need to get down the mountain. Ash, help us, please. <gasps> I got this! Sorry, Ash. You can do anything, remember? You're a super fire truck. Hmm. You're doing it. Keep going. You got this, Ash. Whoa, this isn't helping. I feel dizzy. We're nearly at the bottom of the mountain. mountain. Rest! <gasps> <Whoa>. <gasps> 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 <laughs> Sounds like you both had a big bump. It was really big. Yeah, probably the biggest jump in the world. Oh. That's cold. Sorry. <laughs> that tickles. Well, you're both very brave, <laughs> but especially you, Ash. Buster told me fire trucks can do anything. You saved the day. He really did. Thank you, Jada. No, thank you. Now, what you two need is a good rest to get fully charged. Next time, Scout, we'll land that jump. I heard that! Next stop, ice cream. Roll up, roll up! Time to try the new ice cream car wash on this hot, sunny day. All exciting flavors! <laughs> So many flavours! I want to try them all! Not so fast, Buster! Only one ice cream per vehicle per day! Those are the rules! Huh? But it's so hot! No but spend it! Now, skedaddle! Why does Mr Rubble always ruin the fun? If only we could sneak past him! <gasps> Wait, Bandit! I've got a brilliant idea! <laughs> Mr. Rubble, come look at this! There's a cloud in the shape of a forklift! It looks just like you! What? Where? Look, it's up there! Look! That's where I'm looking, but I can't see it! To the left and the right! Well, where then? Mr. Rubble, did you even know what a cloud is? Bandit, let's go! Uh, oh well, my mistake. Bye. What? Hey, stop right there. Run, run, run. <laughs> Come back here, you little tire skitters. <laughs> this way. What? No, this way. That's a dead end down there. <gasps> Huh? Run! <laughs> Stop this flim flammery act. <laughs> Shortcut! Ice cream avalanche! Oh. <laughs>
Buster, Bandit, why did you take all this ice cream? I'm sorry. We just wanted to try all the flavours. And we were so hot. This ice cream was for everyone to share. Taking it for yourselves wasn't a nice thing to do. But you know, all these flavors melted together taste pretty good. Maybe you'd like to share it with your friends? Roll up, roll up! Get your rainbow ice cream here! All the flavors <laughs> in just one scoop! <gasps> Emergency at the car wash. There is. I've decided I want to be an emergency vehicle today, but I couldn't decide which one. So, da, 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 da. you decided to be all of them. Uh huh. I'm a fire ambulance police car box. Next stop, emergency. Oh. There must be an emergency here somewhere. I want to use my sirens. Being an emergency vehicle isn't all about the sirens, Buster. Look! That kitten must be lost. Emergency! Ah. Hey, wait! Kitten, come back! Next stop, kitten rescue! There's Buster, Mommy, and Grandpa. <laughs> I wonder where they're going on such a snowy day. Oh. oh, wow! They're going to get a Christmas tree. So many trees. Which one to pick? Hmm, what's this? <gasps> Buster wants the biggest tree there is. That really is tall. <sighs> now it's time to take it home. Mommy is pulling the tree in her trailer. Phew, that looks heavy. Wait, oh no! The tree is too big to fit through the front door. But wait, Grandpa has an idea. Now they're trying to take it up the ramp. Nope, that doesn't work either. But now Mommy has a bright idea. Hmm, it doesn't fit down the chimney either. 
But Grandpa has another idea. Three, two, one, charge! Oh dear, it still doesn't fit. It's just too big. Look, it's Scout. She's off to get a Christmas tree of her own. I think Buster has an idea. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Grandpa's using his saw. Whoa, they cut the big tree in two. Scout can have half, and the other half will fit through the front door. Hooray! <laughs> there, that Christmas tree is just the right size for the house. There's Buster and Scout driving home. Wait, what was that? Oh, wow, it's a little baby reindeer. She must be lost. Buster is trying to cheer her up. Aw, I think she wants to play. <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl. Now Buster's throwing a snowball. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Scout. <laughs> it's fun to play with new friends. <gasps> now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! <laughs> now Scout. Oh. Oops, <laughs> sorry Buster. <gasps> but where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! <laughs> she was playing hide and seek. Where's Scout going? Hmm, a big pile of snow. Oh, look, it's Scout. Whoa, more reindeer footprints, bigger ones. I wonder where they lead. I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look, it's mommy and daddy reindeer. They're so happy they found baby. Baby reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye baby reindeer. See you again soon. Buster, your tooth is about to fall out. You will have to get a robot tooth to replace it. What? This is all my fault! Don't be silly, Diggly. Everyone knows when your tooth falls out, you lose it forever. Forever? Forever? Look, a tooth! Maybe we can get help there. We'll never get there in time. We have to get there. Scout! Siren's on! <gasps> We're doomed! What are we gonna... What are we gonna do, Buster? Okay, so here's the plan. Scout, you... Scout? Scout! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Bet you can't catch me, uh, Mr. Rubble! Uh, stop this flim flammery at once! We have a tooth to say. Are we nearly there yet? Yeah, I'm running low on charge. Yes, I think so. Just one more road. Uh, Buster? We 
can do this. Look, there it is. No! My tooth! Yahoo! Congratulations, Buster. It's gone! It's gone forever! Yes, it is. But a bigger one will grow in its place! A, a, a bigger one? I don't have to get a robot tooth? <laughs> Deary me, no! And you can keep your old tooth! Wow! It's amazing! That's even cooler than a robot tooth. I want to lose my tooth next! Can I have a go, Buster?